welcome back guys um i know it's been about two weeks um i had to step down from the channel for a few uh just because uh, some weird stuff has been happening here in my house um there has been creepy stuff happening before i started my youtube channel but um after I started uploading videos, um, the activity just kind of um, heightened. You know, it there's just so much stuff happening lately. Um, so I just wanted to make this video and um, maybe let y'all know what's going on here. I, I have other videos that I was going to talk about my previous apartment, which had a lot of stuff going on, but. I decided just to kind of um, let y'all know what was going on here and the reason why I kind of took a two week uh, break just because a lot of stuff was going on here. Um, well first, you know, when, when we moved in here there was really nothing, nothing was happening. Um, but you know, maybe like, I don't know, a month in, I'm not sure, um, my daughter started feeling some type of way um my oldest as usual it's always her um <clears throat> she excuse me i'm sorry i'm getting over a cold so if i sound a little weird and like a man <laughs> that's that's why so um but anyways she would um she would hear whispers lots of whispers um uh, outside the restroom door um, she would always uh, hear a knock and it still happens um, she hears a knock on the restroom door and like I don't know how to explain it like you know when you knock and then you just you move off like you go ahead and um, go you know you walk off but your hand is still on the door so it kind of makes like a sliding noise so she it, the whoever it was would knock and then slide their hand and then you know that's it so that was happening to her still does um she hears whispers in the restroom like somebody's outside the door and she takes showers in the night like when everybody's asleep so and i've already told her <laughs> to stop doing that but she does anyway she takes a shower in the night and uh, she opens the door and nobody's there so somebody's messing with her um as usual you know the ghosts love her so they're um whispering um she says she's heard an old man and he has like this raspy voice it's like it's an old man she knows it's an old man um but he whispers in the door as well and um i know he says hey but like in a raspy voice. And then um, she's heard, I think she's heard um, a lady as well. Um, and this is all in the hallway where the restroom is. <laughs> so this happens a lot, Th lots of knocking. Um, and in the living room uh, where I'm at right now, <laughs> let's hope nothing happens while I'm, I'm explaining this to you. We, um, me and Viviana have this, uh, it's not an ability, but we do sense vibes, you know, we do sense spirits if they're here, we know when they are here, it's just this feeling we get, um, and me and her never really talked about it together, um, uh, about what we were feeling about the living room, but one day I decided, you know, uh, to talk to her about it <clears throat> and every time I would walk past the living room the living room is pitch black so we have French doors to close the living room in the night so we close off the living room the lights are off and everything and in the middle of the night I have to pass the living room to go to the kitchen to get a bottle for my baby so when this was happening it was around two three o'clock you know it just varies whatever time the baby would get up 
So every time I would pass through um, the hallway, you know, and past the living room, I s swear I would see a white um, shadow in the corner, in the corner all the way to the back. Um, it's like I would have to take a picture of the living room so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, there's this corner that's like next to the fireplace and it's always right there a white shadow was always there and i felt it was a lady and i did not feel threatened at all i felt the spirit was good so i wasn't scared but it still you know it kind of creeped me out because i would always see it every time i would pass this living room so i would see that and i would sense that and when i talked to viviana about it i was like you know i'm feeling this crazy um this crazy feeling about the living room she's like i know she, she's like me too she's like every time i pass by there to use the restroom i see um this shadow in there i'm like what you know what kind of shadow and she's like i see this white shadow and it's a woman i know it's a woman but it's a nice nice lady you know she's like i know i know it's a woman and she means no harm she told me she's like oh my gosh you know um i told her i was like oh my gosh the, i see that too and so we we're just like going back and forth about you know that's so crazy that we both see that and we both knew that it was a, a lady and we both knew that it was nice you know and i like i said i didn't tell her anything she we were talking about it and she told me first and i was just like you know it, it was just crazy so there was that and um but you know with like i think it was about a week we would see um that shadow and it disappeared we've never seen it it has not come back um, that was it so I don't know what that was but you know that was here <laughs> and um, so the living room always something's always happening um, I think like two months into us moving here I heard footsteps from like where our fireplace is outside I heard footsteps going in an angle like it's going up the wall and then on the roof and then it continued walking on the roof or wherever it was I heard that and it freaked me out and I um, asked my stepdad you know to check if somebody was outside because that sounded so um, real like somebody was outside somebody was walking on our freaking roof so I was like do I not know something you know is do we have somebody working on our roof or something you know so he went out of course nobody's out there nobody was there so there was that and we are constantly hearing somebody walking in the attic all the time in the living room this is every day we hear walking and I mean we've already gotten used to it we've been living here for a year so we've already gotten used to that but it just still it freaks us out when we do hear it and we've been trying to catch it on film or you know on camera but we just we can't seem to get it right <laughs> so um so there's that you know walking um and then we hear conversations like literally this just happened maybe two days ago a full-blown conversation in our um fireplace or in the wall you know um and i went outside to check and there's nobody outside nobody was next door i mean i even peeked through like the next door neighbor's um fence to just to see you know maybe they're they're conversating you know maybe there's somebody there nobody was there nobody is there i came back in and the conversation is still going so you know i don't know what the heck that is but like i i've been trying to catch it and i i just can't i can't catch it so you know people having conversations um my daughter heard a little girl laughing in the kitchen and um lately we've been hearing knocking outside of in the back the back door somebody's constantly knocking on the back door or 
somebody is um, trying to get in, you know, they're wiggling the knob and the doorknob <clears throat> and um, you know, it's gotten to the point where I, I woke up my husband because my daughter was terrified that somebody was outside trying to get in. So I woke up my husband and he got up and this was like, I don't know, two in the morning. He got up. Who's going to be knocking at that time? He got up. He went outside, checked. Nobody was there. Nothing, you know. Um, so that's been going on. Um, my daughter heard scratching on the wall in her room. And this was like the wall um, that is where our sink in the kitchen where our sink is so she heard scratching right there um, and that was of course middle of the night too like two uh, one two o'clock in the morning and then I mean that it's just constant activity here constant and I've been trying to catch it just for you know just to, to have it you know for me <laughs> um, my mom is now she's experiencing stuff and you know she doesn't want to acknowledge it like i said before in my other videos she hates to acknowledge it but she's heard she has heard um knocking i mean knocking i'm sorry she's heard um somebody walking on the roof um she was even outside by herself in the garage putting stuff up in the garage and somebody threw a rock at her from where i have no idea nobody was there nobody was outside she was in the garage so that happened to her and then um, I know <clears throat> there was this shadow figure in my room and this was the most terrifying thing that has happened to me here. Um, my baby was a newborn, you know, she was maybe like two months old and she was in her crib and I woke up and I saw this black figure um, like hunched over her crib. I tried everything to move and to get her, you know, because that, I mean, that's going to terrify anybody to see a black figure just staring in your daughter's crib. And I couldn't move. Like, I was paralyzed. I could not move. So I know that that was sleep paralysis, but it was so real. So real. And I finally uh, was able to move, and the shadow was gone. So um, that was very scary. Um, just because it had to do with my baby, you know? Who is, is looking in on my baby? And it was a black shadow. I don't think that that was nice. I don't think that shadow um, is a good, you know, a good spirit. I felt very threatened by this one. And it was not it was not that was just not a good night um so that really really freaked me out my oldest daughter like usual <laughs> um she hates my room she just hates my room um she said that she she feels really heavy when she goes in my room and i don't feel anything when i'm in there i feel nothing and but she does and she just does not like it and um there's times where she has to go in my room around 4.30 because I take my husband to work sometimes and he has to be at work by 5 in the morning. So she has to go to my room so she can sleep in there while I go, you know, um, so she can keep an eye on the baby. And um, she says that she just, she hates it. She hates it so much. So. But there is just so much stuff happening and it's probably going to continue and I'll update you guys but for now, you know, this is, this, this is what's going on and this is why I took a break. Um, hopefully nothing happens but I'm hoping to um, do another video and the video is going to be about my previous apartment, like I said, and a lot of stuff was happening there. so. Um, but hey guys, you know, thank you for coming and um, supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Um, just come back for more because I am going to be um, uploading some more videos, alright? Thank you. Bye.